What's up, everybody? Pumpkin here. So, Novigrad just came out. Syndicate the Faction has been released, and I have not put up any Syndicate videos. Uh, the reason being is they're nerfing Syndicate later this week. Uh, they said 10 cards are going to be adjusted or tweaked, so that could mean nerfs, but my guess is uh, Freak Show, Apothecary, probably going to get nerfed. Those cards are very strong. So, uh, instead of make a video that gets outdated in, like, two or three days, I decided I'm just going to hold off on any kind of deck guides because... Uh, those decks could and probably will be changing within the next two to three days. So we have a Squatel deck for you. And originally I was a little worried that Squatel would just get smashed by Syndicate, but it turns out uh, Squatel does quite well against Syndicate. Um, I win the majority of the game. I probably have like a 70% win rate against Syndicate with Squatel, which is impressive because uh, Syndicate's only going to get worse, not better. So uh, Squatel is actually quite good in this meta. Um, so. Yeah, mid-range list, it's nothing super different from a normal list other than uh, a few cards. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, Ethne is obviously going to be your go-to leader. Very good with Deathblow, very good with the Shiru that we're going to get to in a bit. Um, but yeah, th this is always going to be your go-to leader for a mid-range list just because more provisions means uh, beefier cards that you get to play. Oak, best square tail card in the game, auto-include in almost every deck. Not much more to say. Uh, Justice. Justice is a new card that came with a new expansion. This card's really, really good with Cleaver's Muscle. Um, pulling two of these units out is exceptionally good just because uh, people do play pings. People do play cards that do damage. Um, and this is actually really good against Syndicate. Here's why. Um, Syndicate is playing a good chunk of Bounty. And putting Bounty on a Cleaver's Muscle feels really bad because you have to put two damage through one of the shields with uh, Ewald um unless they have executioner so yeah this card's phenomenal it's really good with oak it adds consistency to volunteers it's a nice proactive play it's really good against sk um I, I, against some decks that do damage um what i like to do in round three is turn one milva turn two immune dragon turn three justice it's not three immune plays but it's two plus uh, muscle and muscle have shield on it. So if you have traditional damage, uh, you're not damaging those either. So traditional damage decks are going to be annoyed, um, which is why this opening play is really good. Um, yeah, it's just it's just strong. Uh, if you don't think Justice is a good card, play the card and you'll be surprised because cards like Last Ray, Crushing Trap, random pings via I don't know Tritum, any SK card like Hound Snout or Herald, um, those shields block it. So very, very strong card. Ithlin, auto-include in any deck that plays Skags. Immune Dragon's really good right now just because people are playing Bounty and Syndicate. So you play this for eight and your opponent can't do anything about it. And that's important because a lot of the time Syndicate decks are banking on uh, that Bounty to get value. So Immune is super strong in this patch. Barnabas, solid, solid card in Scoia'tael. Uh, it's typically played in almost every kind of mid-range list. Um, there aren't a lot of Dryads in the list, so if you do want consistent 12 for 10 in round 3 on this card, I would suggest dropping Siren for Morin and then downgrading the Archer for a Swordmaster. That's up to you. Um, I've been okay with the Siren because I've found a good amount of lock targets, and locking with Morin feels kind of bad because you're losing value. So that's up to you. If you want more Barney value, you're more than welcome to play Morin. Um, I personally am fine with getting 10 for 10 on Barnabas. That's fine with me. Um, but once again, up to you. Uh, Geralt of Rivia. You don't see this card too often in Scoia'tael. Um, I was running Gigni at one point last patch, but problem with Gigni is if you're playing uh, a mid-range list like this, you're, you're, you're doing quite a, a lot of damage, and Gigni works really poorly with the next card that we're going to talk about. Um, also, Syndicate. They're not playing a lot of points. They're going more towards the, the removal aspect, so... Yeah, not not a huge fan of Gigni at the moment. Um, Geralt finds good value against Syndicate. If they steal like an 8 or 9 point Oak, uh, you can Geralt it back uh, when they steal it with Philippa. Um, if they're playing Bincy, it's a free Geralt target. Uh, Bincy is pretty popular right now. So Ger Geralt's good. If you don't want to play Geralt, that's fine. You can just play uh, Gabor instead. Gabor is quite good in this meta simply because it has the word immune on it. And they can't, uh, they can't damage or put bounty on an immune card. So... You can play Gaboria if you don't like Geralt. That's up to you. Uh, Shiru. Shiru's the, the big flashy card of this deck. Shiru up until now has seen zero play. 
But it's really good in this meta. Why? Because, well, lots and lots of Syndicate. And Syndicate, all their cards are 3 and 4. Um, pair this with Ethne, and you get a lot of value. My biggest Shiru today has been 24. Yes. 24-point Shiru. Um, that's insane. Um, worst Shiru today, I think, was 6, but I had one of those. Every other Shiru was, like, 12+. plus. So... Yeah, Shiru is a phenomenal card. Save it for round three. Blow out your... I, I've had entire board wipes with this card. Great, great card in this meta. Um, because people aren't playing super duper tall. Uh, except for maybe one or two cards in like your syndicate list. And that's what Geralt is for and Skag. So really good card. I highly suggest you try it out. Um, if you don't believe me, you can just watch some of the gameplay after this uh, small uh, review. You can uh, see for yourself. Skags, uh, auto include in any deck that runs Ithlan. Ida... You don't have to play this card. You could play Morin instead. Maybe it's correct. Um, I like the Ida. She's kind of cute. Uh, it's nice to have this card if you, I don't know, you queue into like the random AQ deck. Uh, if you're not queuing into any AQ or any decks that run Artifact, then throw it away. Play Morin. Up to you. Uh, Siren, just a good card. Once again, you can downgrade Siren for a Morin if you'd like and then downgrade an Archer to a Swordmaster. Up to you. Uh, Milva, super strong. Really good in the long round. Typically gets... 12 plus value um yeah and it's immune which is really good against syndicate cleaver's muscle new card uh from the expansion very very strong card some people look at this card and go oh this card sucks it's a five for five and it has shield well shield sucks on any card that's not an engine because well you only want to shield engines yeah no uh this isn't the case because there's a lot of random damage and there's a lot of aoe uh cards like sabrina crushing trap lacerate uh, all, all these cards damage an entire row, so Cleaver Muscles are effectively 7 uh, in those particular matchups. Um, Dagger Herald, uh, the random pings, if they hit Muscle, deny 2 points per, right? You deny 1 damage, um, and they get 1 less on their Dagger. So if you have 2 Cleaver Muscles on the board and 2 of the pings hit each of the Muscle, uh, you're denying 4 points. That's significant. These become 7 value. Um, so typically, these cards get between 6 and 7 value. Um, I guess if it's a really short round, they only get 5. It's really good against Houndsnout, too. Um, it's really good against Bounty, because typically, uh, if they're killing this card, they have to ping the shield, which means that's bad, which puts this at a 6. Uh, potentially even 7 if they don't have Executioner and they're using Ewald instead. So, yeah, it's just a really good card. Uh, it's a dwarf. It allows uh, Justice to get better for Oak, and it's another card for uh, Volunteers. Just a really good card. Uh, I do want to say, typically, I mulligan all of them. Uh, I, I typically do not keep these in my hand, with the exception that I have an Agitator in my hand, and I didn't draw Skags. If you didn't draw Skags and you have Agitator in hand, this is the card you want to boost. You typically don't really want to boost a Volunteer because, well, you, you want to play them to thin, so you're, you're throwing away Carryover. So, yeah. This is your go-to on Agitator if you don't draw Skags. Uh, otherwise, I mulligan them, them away. Uh, do note, if you Agitator this, boost it to 7, and then you play Justice later on after you mulligan that 7-point uh, muscle into your deck, it will come out boosted. The first one. The second one will be base strength, so it'll still be 5. So keep that in mind. Uh, you don't lose points by mulliganing it away, assuming you have Justice in hand. Uh, the rest of the cards are pretty straightforward. You see them in every single mid-range list. Um, nothing crazy. Yeah, so a uh, pretty straightforward list other than the uh, the the Shiru, the Shiru and the Geralt. Um, once again, I, I, I highly suggest you try the Shiru. It's, it's a fun card, and it's a good card. Uh, sometimes those do not go hand in hand, but in this case, they do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the deck. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Would you have won if you killed Boar City? No. Because he had other point uh, activators, like Clown. I'm a bot? Yeah? Do we have any, uh... Any bots in chat? Jasper? Mr. Destructoid reporting in.
In theory, this chat should have more experience with physics than Einstein. <laughs> yeah, true. Swindle! I remember everybody thought this card was like broken, game breaking. And then the other other syndicate bronzes came out and were like, eh. <laughs> What song is this? It's called the, uh, the, the Resident Sleeper song. You made physics? Oh, cool. S uh, CDPR nerfing 10 syndicate cards? Too many or about right? Well, I mean, if you read the tweet, it says changing. So in theory, they could be buffing 10 syndicate cards. Granted, I don't think that's going to be the case, but in theory, it could be. Um... Right, so I think I, I think it'll be I mean, I don't know. I guess it could be five five. Is it just SY cards? Uh let me read the exact I'm not sure. Let me read this again. For those wondering, along with the hotfix for some of the technical problems in Gwent, we'll be doing a balance pass on a couple of syndicate cards this week. Okay, so syndicate only. Around ten cards will be affected. It says around, so I don't know. Maybe they're rounding up. Maybe maybe they're only nerfing clown and they rounded the ten. NA rounding. <laughs> You're not gonna round to zero. Do we get a full refund if we if we scrap nerfed cards? Um. Um. In the eh. so like long time ago in a Gwent far far away, uh, you did get full refunds, but that changed when the uh, I don't know when when something happened. So the answer is, I don't know. Uh, they could. I think they have done it before where they give refund value. I think if they were to butcher a card, they would. Um, but if it's like a 1 or 2p nerf. I, okay, 2p can be butchering depending on the card. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I would say this. Don't bank on it. Right? I, I wouldn't say craft all... I, I would advise against crafting all syndicate cards. If your thought process is, I'll just disenchant all the cards that get nerfed, right? If that's your mindset, you might be disappointed. So don't do that. You told me to craft unicorns and they're garbage. Well, they used to be good a long time ago. And then... They got nerfed. You guys remember when Uni Cairo was meta? Every deck, Uni Cairo. You play Blue Dream to make more Uni Cairos. Ugh. Those were the days. Like your streams and your character. Thanks, man. Ooh, very nice. I think we go in on the Ithlin. I think. We have four gold cards to top deck. Uh, it is a proactive play, but so is Justice. Yeah. Now is the time of the white frost and white light. I crafted Wolfsbane after your video. Dude, Wolfsbane was broken. I think Wolfsbane is better than Clown right now. Eh. Ah, I don't know if I agree with that. A Apothecary is kind of out of this world. Um... We have no bricks, right? I'll just take the second mully. Sure. No Geralt, but he's not playing Bincy, so... Might not be an issue. 
How do you feel about fee abilities having zeal? Do you think syndicates would be a little less insane if it worked like orders? Well, I mean, it definitely would be uh, less good, period. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Uh, so he's playing the uh, the heavy, uh, what's it called, bounty list. Oh, we didn't draw a dragon. Ooh, that's unfortunate. It's a really good card in this matchup. Next time I'll be I had our crown splitters a gang. I had five gangs in the deck counting Swindle and Siggy. Only gave me eight coins. Did you make sure to have Firesworn? Firesworn is typically the one that's missed because it's the worst faction or gang. Mr. Streamer, can you play this music? No, I, I like my current music. It's helping me fall asleep. So I can be ready for tomorrow's stream. How many of you guys snore when you sleep? <laughs> Bincy deserves immunity? Yeah, I don't know about that. Dude, I can't even lock this because it's broken. Like... Uh, do you think he won't- do you think he'll play fairly and not cheat? If I lock it? What do you guys think? I wouldn't. Yeah, but unless you're Jasper Smiles, what you would do doesn't really matter. Go for it. Do it and report him if he does it. I don't think I can report somebody for you. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if he abuses it. Until it's fixed, it's intended. I mean, it's literally hovering, it's literally covering the, like, the ability. Right? It's not like you lock it and the lock symbol doesn't show and, like, the blood thing still shows. Like, it's visually covering it. You like to trust humanity? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> I don't know. Trusting humanity is... Uh, Monk-ass. Slaughter them to a man! Change music? Alright, we can change music. I'll go back to Westworld. Westworld's good. He can unlock it? Yeah, if he unlocks it, I don't care. That's fine with me. No, stop cheating! Our daughters are far Dude! You. Why? Trust humanity, they said. Piece of shit. You dirty cheater. Maybe they don't know? What do you mean, maybe they don't know? Is he blind? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, maybe he's playing blind and he doesn't know. That would be about the extent of him not knowing. <laughs> I don't think he's blind, but maybe he is. Report him? I don't know if you can report him. It's CDPR's fault, not his fault. Right? Is it a bug? Well, yeah, obviously it's a bug. In this world, only two things are certain. I don't think he's playing the bounty list. Get your bounty 
But he's abusing the bug. I mean... I... I don't know. Unless CDPR makes an official statement, you're technically allowed to. Why are you even defending him? Because... I don't know. I... Yeah, that's a great question. I don't know. Fantastic question. <laughs> No, you're not. Read the rules. Yeah, don't blame the players. Blame the game. Right? Right? I don't think anybody's been banned on the first week for bug abusing. Right? Now, CDPR has made statements on, like, their Twitter saying, don't do this. If you do, you're going to get, like, temporarily or perma banned. So don't do this, right? And then it stopped. But we will cleanse Nogi Red with fire. Should be game over unless he can magically get rid of my shear in my hand or he has like i don't know plus one to everything on the board what's it called he has talisman i guess oh he has shielded he's gonna take a 50 50 on shielded <laughs> maybe Where's the music from? Westworld. Didn't they make a statement on this blocking bug? Uh, maybe. Perhaps. I, I didn't read into it. Maybe. I'm not sure. That's nice game. Full board wipe. Easy claps in the chat. For my boy, Shiroto. The best Shiru ever. 24. Four points. So you've half a brain after all. Broccolon reward you for that. Kiss bar in there. Nerf <laughs> Sheer too strong. Yeah, it's really funny. Sheer goes from unplayable, 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 24 value. <laughs> oh. It's not a bug. Purify is clown answer. Eh? Yeah, if he purified it, sure, but he didn't purify it. He just kept slapping. I mean, pro players always mulligan. Bricks don't matter. You never brick. Just don't brick. You want gold cards. You gotta use every mulligan every game. Every Corporations are people too. <laughs> Peace with humans. I buy that. What do you think about new faction? I think they're good. A little too good. Uh, a couple cards need to get nerfed, but for the most part, I like it. Uh, it's unique, unique mechanics. I like it. It's cute. If this is me now, 
When you're gonna try a move boost deck, I already have. It's quite underwhelming, sadly. Boost move is, uh, yeah, not very good. He just roll a six? Maybe. I mean, I don't really care. Next patch, Shearless Zeal. <laughs> Do you realize how bad that is? Next patch, Shiru is a 3 for 9 Pog Champ. Deals, deals. Yay! <laughs> Wait a minute. Most people have actually cut blacksmiths from their list. Most decks don't run this card anymore. This is the first blacksmith I've seen all day. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> also, nobody plays the scorpions anymore. Ooh, Roach. I like you. I think we're done here. 22 is kind of a lot. Have you tested an R with new cards? I mean, I've played Lolboida and the Bleeding card. Lolboida is Pepiga. The Bleeding card's really good, though. But the problem is it's really good in a not-so-good faction. So, yeah. Not great. Would Shear be broken if his strength goes up to four? Um, he'd be better. Okay. Question of the day. Will he abuse? Trust humanity? Alright, well trust humanity. Don't do it! I'm watching and a thousand plus other people are too. Don't do it! No! Don't! Okay, good point. Coexistence my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Pog. All right, Shiro, please. Yikes. No dragon either. Ugh. Yikes. In before renew. Eh, I'll just exit. This wealth gap's getting ridiculous. Yay, he played it early. Pog champ. Do we ever dragoon it? No. Geralt it later. There's no rush on Geralt. I can wait five years. Wow, okay, I can wait seven cards. <laughs> Why is Bincy playing Tin Boy? He shouldn't be. Oh no. Okay. Shit. Okay, now we move it. <laughs> right. Alright, now we move it. This way, if he goes tall on this, we Geralt this, otherwise, it's Bincy. So is Cleaver or Holson the worst leader? I'll go with Holson. Uh, I don't know. Um. So Cleaver's a fun leader. He's a really, uh, there's some cool combos you can run, like Scorch, Regis. Um, yeah, I guess those are the main one. I guess Wolfsbane. But, yeah. They're not... Like, amazing combos. The problem with the Scorch one is your opponent can read into it, because they can see that you're a 14 tick. Why 
So I guess Cleaver's the worst. Like Shub I've played Shoop Cleaver. It's it's cute. Right? Like it's cute. But Yeah, that's it. It's just cute. Nothing else. Why does it do that? You guys notice that? Like the spinnies? It's kind of unfortunate that we didn't draw Shiru. Shiru is so good in this matchup. Ay ay ay, stop. I understand. Okay, I guess. Dude, look at all these threes. Feels bad, man. Three, 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 three. Oh? Really? Huh, okay. Dead. You. Wow. Not your lucky day. Next time it'll be personal. <laughs> what? Uh, so they didn't draw justice. Uh, okay. A lethal as melons. But if he has ten boy. I'm actually impressed. We lose one to save one? I mean... Right, right. Does it matter? Okay, are we gonna do the math on Tin Boy? Sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, base body is what? 4? 13, 17, 18, 19, 2021 49 or 59 we're fine is it justice oh. not be restrained <laughs> oh, well we won without drawing any cards Dude, Squirtle is so broken. Should nerf it. Beating a tier 0 faction. He did brick a lock. Um, I mean, we didn't draw four high provision gold cards. So, I mean, you could say both of us went, our RNG went poorly. Your streaming curfew has been reached. Show me the deck. I'll show the deck after the game. When round one ends in a tie, is it random who starts round two? No. So the person who goes first in round one uh, will go second in round two. If you go second in round two, you go first in round one. So it flips if there's a tie. Have no place in 
how are you doing with your deaths for syndicate? We're beating most people. We even run Shiru, but we didn't draw a Shiru or a dragon that game. Against Gud Run. I couldn't bleed you since my hand round two was even worse. My hand round two was pretty good. But yeah, no, uh, this deck's been doing really well against Syndicate. We have like 60, 70% win rate. We win most games for Syndicate. I think we've tied two games, so I, I, I guess, I don't know, depending on what you call a tie, I guess a tie isn't technically a win. Eh, it's a little slow. Life is fleeting, yet life is eternal. In this world, only two things are certain. Peace with humans! Abide Don't tell him. <laughs> he didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. My name. I don't recall. Right, the only way you actually know of the bug is somebody tells you. Or you just for some random reason decide to test it, which is kinda weird. It would be like, oh look, there's bounty. Let me click off bounty. Boop. <laughs> it just like goes off. <laughs> Whoops. Guess it's fucked. Is Bounty broken? Um, I think Bounty is very strong. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly haven't done enough Bounty testing. I don't know if it's broken. I, I honestly don't know. Four. Uh, do you guys think Bounty's broken? Maybe. I, 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 hmm. probably, but how do you fix it? So like, I think Caleb is obviously too good. Um, but as somebody pointed out with summoning circle, you can kind of just like bypass it and it's not that big of a deal and it's still really good. Um, I don't typically like playing Oak in round one, but losing on even is typically worse. Uh, we could play Skaggs. Unless I want to save it for Clown, which I actually do, so we're not going to play Skaggs. Meh. Alright, I guess. This is bad, man. I don't want to play Dragon. I like my Dragon. It's really good against a Bounty deck, and it seems to be Bounty. I win against every non-Syndicate faction with Bounty. Are you playing Summoning Circle? Fix is easy, just give half the gold for base power. Yeah, I mean... That would definitely be a nerf. <laughs> um, no question about that. Um, but... Would that be unplayable? That's my issue. Do you, are you walking into unplayable territory? And I know some people might say, well, I don't care. I just don't want it to see any play. But... Ner nerfing it into unplayability is typically not a great way to nerf a card because, you know, you, you, you want the card to see play. Um, we drew Milva, which is nice. It's not a Bincy list, so we don't need Geralt. Barney's really good, though. Um, start with this. We don't have any bricks because we mullied this, so we might as well go for it. This typically doesn't live. All right, so we're just gonna open with a bunch of immune. Siggy. I think one of the reasons why bounty decks are good is because of Siggy, because you can get so many points so quickly. All right, let's put it this way. If Siggy didn't exist, I think bounty decks would be much worse. All right, because you can hit that nine uh, and start giving lots of bounties early with uh, Caleb, which is quite good. Never add. Hitting the base strength of the units might honestly be enough. Isn't that what it is right now? Ooh. Pog. I got value. It's really good. 
idea I've been seeing a lot is giving a reward for bounty in the end of the turn. What do you, I don't know what that means. At the end of the turn? Oh, 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 yes. Okay, I understand. Sorry, I just spaced out. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I just want to... Okay. Question of the day number three. Lots of questions of the... Is he gonna abuse... <laughs> Because uh. this is my play. It's always lock here. I actually don't think he'll abuse it. And I don't even think he would want to. Because you would be giving bleed. Right? He have seven coin. And bleeding one unit five times is not exactly very good. Okay. Well, he's doing exactly that. Just with a different card. So. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess it is good enough. <laughs> uh, lol. <laughs> diggy diggy. <laughs> I'm playing this early because I'm kind of hoping he shears it or like he pings it for a shear. We'll see. Make way, move it. Fog. All right. Next time it'll be We're in a really good spot. Mean. Huh. I bet you wish your dryads crashed right now. No. No, I don't have any dryads in the Oh, I thought he was going to steal the serum. I was going to be so happy. Um... I mean, it looks like this is the best, right? Six? Unless he plays Gigney. You think he plays Gigney? I don't think so. Why not play him now? I could play I could play Shira now if I wanted to. But we could get a tiny bit better next turn. I want a bigger Shiru. I'm greedy. This is not correct, but I don't care. Love to hear him beg for mercy. Not that it helps. Easy claps in the chat. Wee! 18 Shiru. MVP Shiru. Hmm. 